All right guys, so today's adventure, we have been invited out by Carlos. He has asked us to come out and check out the Douro Valley. He's taken us on this sweet tour. He's a tour guide and a viewer of ours here on YouTube. And he said, hey, I wanna show you guys more to Porto, more to this beautiful country of Portugal. So here we go. We don't really know a whole lot about what's in store, except a lot of history, a lot of beautiful scenery here in Portugal, and a little bit of wine. Let's go! All right, Kaylee, what are you most looking forward to here? Ooh, that is a good question. I ask these good questions. <laughs> well, I don't really know much of the itinerary. All I know is that we're doing a Douro Valley tour. So I don't, don't really have any expectations because I don't really know what we're doing today. <laughs> to be honest, behind that mask, we don't even know if you're talking. <laughs> this could be a complete voiceover right now. Yeah. G. How you yeah, feeling? Doing, feeling good. It's yeah. A good morning. It's a great morning. And uh, again, what are you lo most looking forward to today? Oh, uh, it's again just like uh, Kaylee. So a huge surprise to me. I have no idea where we're uh, heading off to. Yeah, you planned it, all this. So. It, oh, there's, <laughs> Car Carlos planned it all. Yeah. It's did, it's yeah. his tours. It was yeah. a it was a very quick invite that came together fast. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, apparently there's a river around here. I haven't seen a river, so maybe I'll get to see the river. Oh yeah, that is true. We've not gone down to Kibera yet. No, so. so we've like kind of stayed in this area, so hopefully get to see a lot more of, yeah, water. Mm. Definitely. Uh, like uh, Airbnb. Okay. Whoa. Oh wow. Nor normally they have a monarchy flag. Walls is the one thing because the way that it's, it's separated, I guess, but um, just all the vineyards and the olive trees. And I'm so, so surprised we've seen figs and apples and passion fruit and olives for olive oil, um, grapes for the wine, kiwis. I can't believe it. So the drive's been really good. Uh, very beautiful to see. Yeah, it's a great way to cover a lot of ground in Portugal, definitely. It's beautiful. Mm, very nice. Nice to see you.
As you can see, in the former days, these were also vine vineyards. Okay. But now they are abandoned because in 1850s, more or less, Oluru had a big disease called phylloxera or phylloxera okay. that yeah. killed the vineyards <laughs> in a lot of places, including Portugal. This view is breathtaking. You kind of just wind through and you can see the different vineyards and all the different uh, types of nature, I guess you could say. But then you turn this corner and you see the river and it's so pretty. Do you like that? that? Where? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I bet you it's actually pretty to live down there. I mean, if you are interested in living in a more remote area but with a beautiful view, then it's probably really pretty down there. Really nice. Yeah, it's really, beautiful. really nice. If it had good internet, would you live here? I reckon it does have good internet. <laughs> But yeah, I would. <laughs> they have it's it. shaking head now. <laughs> they sure it's nice have. for a trip, though. Yeah, it's worth the... doing, hundred yeah. percent. We appreciate the honesty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he says they surely do have in there as well. This is brand new. Just finished, maybe a month ago. I bet those views. Eiffel bridges in, in Douro River. You have Porto 1, is Maria, Pia, and this one.
I'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise. I'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise. Wild berries and cool water are our mouths to lie. We set a fire beneath the moon's light. No one else to disturb us. We enjoy the night and fall asleep warm. The river cruise is so relaxing. It's really beautiful out here. It's nice to see. It's kind of chilled. It's a good breeze. It's nice. And we're doing the one hour river cruise, so we go 30 minutes up, 30 minutes back, and then I hope that we're gonna grab some lunch afterwards. Yeah. But until then, we're gonna enjoy the views. I'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise. I'm sure that the current won't mind if we rest our bodies for the night and leave before sunrise. I'm sure that the water won't mind if we Rest here for the night and leave before sunrise. I'm sure that the current won't mind if we rest our bodies for the night and leave before sunrise. Think of the meal. <laughs> we sh we shared, kind of. I mean, we both ordered the same thing, so it yeah. came in the same dish. It's good, yeah. Really good, yeah. The rice. I'm full, but so full. Super full. Yeah. The rice and beans were amazing. The service was awesome. <laughs> we had a DJ Steve, which was very nice. Orange and cinnamon. Oh, very full. House dessert. Condensed milk, biscuits, cream, beautiful. Now on to the winery for a uh, wine, wine tour. Yeah. Let's go!
have made it here to the winery. We are gonna go in and we're gonna taste some wines and see about the winemaking process here at this winery. Let's go, join me. There is a G, walking like a G to the lookout spot. Let's see this amazing view. Okay, so she was just explaining that here where you guys can see the olive trees, this is uh, where their property line kind of starts. So everything coming back this way until the olive trees on this side, right here. And then down there is where, right there, is where a lot of the port wines, uh, famous port wines are bottled, produced. All right, let's go inside now. It smells grapey. Grapey? Yeah. White wine, okay. Is a very good because it's fruity. Cheers. Vocês conhecem um bocadinho esta zona? Agora não sei se está em período de férias deles, mas diga. Extremamente prático. Tem sopotas. Guys, so one thing that we love about doing different tours, one, this wine tour right now, is that you get to meet some really interesting people. So we've actually just met some Portuguese people. Yes, I know we're in Portugal, but they live in Spain and they're getting ready to open up a business in October. And instead of me telling you about it, I'm gonna let them tell you about it. Listen to this. Hi guys, so my name is Andre. I, I'm Portuguese, I live in Malaga. And here with my mother, Sarah, uh, we are about to open a place in uh, Malaga, in Calle de Atas. It will be, it's going to be a Portuguese place. The place will be Maria Lisboa and you can try the speciality we have in Portugal and we bring to Malaga. It is going to be a Portuguese window in Malaga. <laughs> yes, yes, Maria Lisboa. <laughs> Just finished a tasting, met some great people. It was a good experience. It's a kind of a smaller quinta, medium size, I guess, but everything was very good. And the wine was good, of course, little snacks, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, if they're making you stay in a barrel, it should be cheap. Kaylee would be licking the walls all night. <laughs> It was a long day, but Carlos was great. We had a really good time. He really knew his stuff all around Dora Valley, and he even took us to the Gaia side, which is really cool. So 
it was a lot, but it was good information, a lot of fun, and I would definitely recommend checking out this part of Portugal. What did you think? Long day? See ya? Did you have fun? Fun. You have fun?